God is revealing himself to those who are vigilant and aware of the signs occurring across the globe. Within the next 11 minutes, if you pay attention to these words with an alert mind, you will sense his presence beside you. Signs are appearing worldwide, and for those who are still ignoring them, including this one that is reaching you out through this message, they will regret it later. God is giving strong and bold signs of his presence, and recently, some even people have been able to glimpse God as a result of global events. You read it correctly. Many have seen God in recent days, even those who have doubts about him, but are nevertheless inclined to seek his kingdom. Our Heavenly Father is the one God, and they are fighting against believing in him because of their own unbelief and mentality. Nearly 200 individuals in Gaza, a region tormented by numerous prides and wars, recently saw Jesus. Countries, but the figure of love and peace, Jesus, came to the 200 individuals who were all taken aback by his appearance. There are a plethora of signals occurring in Jerusalem, the land of God. More and more people are talking about the third temple being built, and some even claim to have discovered the red hair, which will start the construction process. Additionally, the sound of trumpets may be heard on several occasions, not just in Jerusalem, but also in various other countries, such as the USA, Australia, the UK and Canada. A flash recently struck the wave, deluge, immediately after the assault on the bishop, and now Brazil is bracing for a tremendous flood. This was only a little taste of what's going on on Earth. Similar indications are also visible in the sky. Do you honestly believe that the solar eclipse, the devil's statement, and the sun study are all occurring at the same time, without purpose, holy child? All of these things are happening for a reason. God is getting ready to return on a white horse, and the signals point to an increase in the number of trumpets he will sound. The global number of blasphemous individuals is on the rise. It is clear from hearing the accounts of many others that demonic philosophy is on the rise, just as prophesied in the book of Revelation. There will be many wicked ideologues and bad acts in the end times, as prophesied in the book of Revelation. This is happening right now, as people are turning their backs on God's moral standards and the ideals that were formerly held dear in favor of immorality. A culture of disobedience and transgression is gradually replacing one of morality and decency. Believe it or not, God is making himself known to people all around the globe in ways he never has before. He is giving out undeniable signals of his strength and presence, but sadly, many people still choose to ignore or reject them. The majesty and wonder of God's creation, the mighty deeds of his providence, and the many accounts of his redemptive power are all signs that God is at work throughout the lives of many Christians, from the edge of the earth to the edge of the ocean, from the moment a child is born to the moment they are healed. Everyone can witness God's work, and at these times, God is speaking to hearts and minds in ways that are hard to miss. He needs to calm down, HS. Through dreams, visions, and heavenly experiences, he awakens spirits and draws people to him with an intensity and urgency like never before. To those who are receptive, he exposes his truth and love. Yet despite all the evidence, even though his power has been shown many times, there are still some who adamantly deny his existence. They refuse to acknowledge reality, ignore his words, and harbor resentment against him. They refuse to budge from their skepticism and doubt, placing their faith in their own knowledge and insight. Keep in mind that the Lord is right here among us, and that whoever tries to disregard his signals or his presence will certainly come to repent forever and ever. Believers must be unwavering in their devotion to God and their principles at this hour of great urgency. Despite the world's pressures, we must remain steadfast in our faith in the veracity of his word. Despite growing persecution and criticism, let us not allow ourselves to be carried away by changing public opinion, but rather stand firmly on God's unwavering promises. Being fearless ambassadors for Christ is our calling. We must fearlessly declare the truth while lovingly speaking it. The Gospel Message When we wait for the glorious written word of salvation to come to a world that is urgently in need of it, 
Let us not be disheartened by the scoffers and mockers, but instead keep steadfast in the knowledge that our effort is not in vain. We pray that you, Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, will keep us alert and wise while we await his return. As his followers, may we remain in his love and follow his commandments with all our hearts. At the same time, as it is our honor and duty, we must testify to the power and presence of God. Our lives are meant to be living testaments to his love and grace, illuminating a world that seems to be engulfed in despair. Our words and deeds have the power to illuminate the world around us with the love of Christ, leading others to the liberating truth. Therefore, if we can be a lighthouse for Christ and guide others to the truth that will set them free, we will have accomplished our mission. In other words, jot down the symptoms if you can see them. Send these messages to the ones you care about most and know that I am always on the lookout. Have at least nine individuals receive them and forward them on to others. This will save all people forever if they are good. Also, before it's too late, let us keep praying passionately for the lost, asking that they might know Jesus Christ and his rescuing love. Join me in this powerful prayer, not to beg for blessings for earth's goals and wishes, but to praise the Almighty, bring honor to his name, and let him feel her love. I hope that your faith and love will guide you. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you, so please pray this immediately with all your being. We recognize your sovereignty and your majesty with grateful and reverent hearts today. You have unlimited love and knowledge. You are the one who started it all. You are the one who will finish it all. You have shown yourself to us in so many ways. For that, we are eternally grateful. Lord, your steadfast presence and strength are comforting reminders in these moments of doubt and uncertainty. Everything, from the wonders of daily life to the exquisiteness of creation and the incalculable gifts you shower upon us, is evidence of your handiwork. No matter what we go through in life, we always remember that our Heavenly Father is with us, providing wisdom and strength via your grace. Our hearts go out to those who are still in the dark, and have not yet felt your saving love. We ask that you lead them into a relationship with you that would change their lives, that you open their eyes to see the truth, and that you soften their hearts to accept your grace. As we share the good news of your gospel with the world, may we be obedient witnesses who point people to you and your salvation. Lord, we acknowledge that we struggle with uncertainty about your character and purpose at times, Please assist us to let go of our concerns and skepticism and to trust you more fully. We apologize for our lack of faith. May your Holy Spirit empower us to trust in you and follow your will, because we know that you are with us at all times and that you have good intentions for our lives. Please, Father, let your people be one in spirit and purpose so that we may serve as a one unified body. May we be able to put aside our disagreements and pray together in unity, support. We pray that your mercy and grace permeate the United States, changing people's hearts and minds and bringing future communities together in peace and healing. We pray that our leaders and authorities will be led by your wisdom and compassion, Lord. Give them the wisdom and bravery to make choices that bring glory to you and are beneficial for everyone. Preserve a country from discord, make an effort and we will be able to work together for the common good. Dear Father, your church is in our prayers this day and every day. The globe where you would fortify and enable your people to shine like salt and wisdom on a fractured and gloomy planet. Pray for us so that we may have the courage to share the gospel and show mercy to everyone we meet. Lord, use us to comfort the brokenhearted and give them new life. 